Firstly, we're going to look at building set out. We're going to create a new project using the 12D Model 10 icon. Click on New. We're going to browse to our training area. This time we go to the set out folder. Click select folder and the project name will be house set out. And we're going to use the previously set up configuration called getting started survey. In the set out exercises we won't be using the set out project details panel so just click finish. We can move the recalc panel over to the right and just maximize plan view one. In this tutorial we're going to make up the line work using CAD options. Firstly we're going to set up the CAD control area by firstly typing in a name called lot, a model called lot, change the colour to red and ensure the line style is line type 1 which is just a continual line. We're going to create the lot outline first, so we're going to use CAD line Travis. The start point can be typed in by simply typing in 1000 space 5000. So ensure you make sure you put a space between the coordinates and press enter. If you zoom out, you'll then see a little rubber band line from your start position. To type in a bearing, you simply start typing 12.1810, that's equivalent to 12 degrees 18 minutes 10 seconds, and press enter. The distance is 35.818, and again press enter. The next bearing is 90, so type in 90, enter, and then 23.87, enter. Then 192 degrees 1810, enter, 35.818, enter. So once we've created the three sides, just press escape. And we're just going to check the bearing and distance from the end point back to the start point. This can be done using the inquire and the second one out says measure bearing distance. Pick and accept on the last point. Pick and accept on the start point and you should see 270 degrees for 23.87. Okay, we'll finish on that panel and we'll now close the string, pick and accept, and we've now got a closed boundary. We're now going to create the shape of the house. Um, this is going to be done in a different model, so we're going to type in the name house and the model house. We'll change the colour, say to blue, and we're going to again use Travis, so lines Travis. This time our house has to start 7 metres up from the front and 1.8 metres in from the side boundary. Rather than traversing from the start point, we're going to use a fairly powerful option in our Snaps CAD point menu. Hold the left button down and keep it held down while you move down and then when you see snaps offset, release the button. Now we down the bottom left of the screen it says pick the string, so we pick with direction up the left hand side, release and accept. Pick the position of to measure from, so we pick the bottom left corner and accept. The distance along the string will be 7 enter and the offset will be 1.8 enter. So it's positive to the right, negative to the left. If you move your mouse now you'll see that it's basically been positioned 7 meters up and 1.8 and it's ready to traverse. Here we're going to run parallel to the house. So down the bottom where it says enter bearing you can also go T for tangential. So if you click on T and you click on the left boundary you'll see that the string is automatically aligned to that string. Then click middle button and we're ready to put in a distance. So we're going to type in a distance of 15.4 enter. 
Now as we're going to be just moving at right angles now, if you press the space bar and if you press page up, it will increase the bearing by 90 degrees and then press enter. The distance will be 11.1, enter. Again press the space bar and press page up, press enter. The distance will be 3, enter. Space bar, page down this time, enter. And the distance will be 6, enter. Space bar, page up, enter. The distance will be 5, enter. Space bar, page up, enter. And the distance will be 8.2, enter. Space bar, page down this time, enter. And the distance we'll type in is 7.6, enter. Then if you press escape, we can then check from the end point back to the start. So we again go to our measure edit toolbar, measure bearing distance and pick and accept on the end, pick and accept back at the start. Now when we measure it here, this time the bearing is out. It should have been 282 degrees 1810, so we have an error somewhere. So just press escape and we're going to find out where the error is. Now this is done by using the CAD line toolbar and using Travis Edit. And you can pick on any line, pick and accept, and it will tell you the bearing, press enter, and it will tell you the distance, enter. So we go round and we pick on the last line and accept. The bearing is 192.18.10, enter, that's good. But the distance was supposed to be 7.6, so we simply type over the top, 7.6, enter. If we then recheck the bearing and distance, you'll now see it's 282 degrees 1810. So that's OK. Click Finish. And now we can close that string. Pick and accept. Now it's very useful to check now the offsets from the boundary into the various points on the house. So firstly, before we do this, we click on S, which is the segment snap. This will ensure that it stays locked into whichever segment we pick. And we go to the measure edits and we go to measure value. If we then walk right on string to point length, we can then left click, middle click on the left boundary and you'll see as we move the cursor the value updates and if we just left click without accepting on the back left corner you'll see the value is 1.8 and then you left click at the start and it's 1.8 if you then click measure and you now pick the front line left click at the start at the front corner click measure and we'll pick on the other corners as well Right, when you're satisfied that they're correct, you can press Escape. The next step is to actually label those offsets. So what we're going to do first is we're going to set up the, um, the default CAD area. And to do this, we click on the N and we have an option there called Text Offset 1 to 200 that we've set up for this workshop. So if you double click on that one there, it will set the default model to TXT, the colour will be cyan, it will have a particular line type, it will have a particular text style and height. This option to create the both the offset line and the piece of the text now is done under Strings, CAD, Text, Label Perp Offset. We pick on the string in much the same way as we measured the values. Then we pick on the point and accept. If we then go down and pick on the next corner, and we can basically just keep going around, picking on the corner points, and press escape. We're now going to label both the lot and the building. To do this, we use the option Drafting Bearing Distance Labeling 2. 
we call up a parameter file from the user library called detail v10.1 and click read. This sets up parameters that such as the model name and the text style. We're going to pick firstly the boundary string. We're going to label all segments and click process. If we go to our plus button we can then turn on txt bearing and txt distance. Now you'll notice the, the text is quite a bit larger than the offsets and that's because our default scale at the moment is 1 to 1000. So if we change that by clicking menu, settings, plotting scale and we'll change the scale to 200 and click set. The next thing we're going to do is label the house but we're going to do this without the bearing. So where it says model for bearing we remove that, we pick on the house string and click process and now you'll just get distances. Right, when the once the dimensions have been done we can then finish on that panel. The next thing we're going to do is create the setout points. There's actually quite a few different ways of creating setout points. Firstly we're going to turn off all the models except for house and lot and we select the option survey, setout set out points using super strings. We click on the options tab and we're going to leave most of the defaults as they are however we'll tick on draw link for set out and use highest project ID so that will go through the project and work out what the next highest point number is. We're going to pick a text style and we're going to choose one which is 1 to 200 and we're going to type in a model name for the set out points. So we'll just type in set out points. We then go to the create points tab and we click and click on the data source and we're going to change that to view. The view we're going to label as view 1 and click label. If we then turn on the model set out points, if you wanted to undo that, you could change say the label offset to say one, and that would just bring in a, bring it in just a little bit closer. If we now turn back on our other text, we can then identify whether any text needs to be moved. If you did want to move any of these point numbers you can use the edit points tab, click on auto, click on pick and then you basically pick until it highlights the actual point number and accept. Then you can move it to another position, pick, accept and it will automatically update the leader out to the point. Right, when you've finished all of the labelling, click finish there. The data can now be uploaded to the instrument in a variety of ways. We can upload um, straight to a data collector, upload the points. In this example, we'll just use a TopCon instrument. So we select survey, upload, create points upload file. We'll change the instrument type to TopCon GDS 700. The data source will be the model set out points and we click get point range. You'll see here starting at point 2 going through to point 13. We can then type in a file name and press enter and click write file. Select finish on the panel 
if we wanted to upload that directly to a Topcon instrument we would have to firstly go to Survey Setup select the data collector and click Set Finish then to upload direct to the instrument we would select Survey Upload Upload we would then pick the relevant COM port ensure that the COM parameters are the same as per the instrument we would then select the file get the instrument ready for uploading and then click upload in this example we won't upload to the instrument we'll just click finish 